Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the new sponges from EcoTools. I picked these up at Walmart and showed them in my most recent drugstore haul. I've done three in the last like month because a bunch of new stuff has been out at the drugstore. But I just picked these up at Walmart, like I said, so let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my thoughts as well as showing you guys some demos and letting you know if I think these sponges are worth it or not. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what I am sharing with you guys today are the EcoTools Perfecting Blender Duo Makeup Sponges. The, that is these two right here. I will insert a picture of the actual like packaging and what they look like. So they do kind of come like this in the packaging. Really cute, you get a smaller one and then you get a larger one. They both have a very like cut side right here and then a shorter side that is cut right here and they are rounded at the bottom. And then on the top here they do have a little, it doesn't come to like a per perfect point, it's almost like a little like a ledge. <laughs> it's a very like small rectangular right rectangular it's a very small rectangle right here so it doesn't come to a complete like point um, and then the smaller one is the exact same cut it's just a little bit smaller and the consistency is a little bit different this is a little bit more dense these are both damp right now so these are going to be like their full size um, this one like I said is just a little bit more dense and I believe that they said in, like on the packaging that this one is more for like cream products where this one is for like liquid products like liquid foundation and things like that and then I'm also showing you guys the EcoTools Color Perfecting Minis. So they came like this and they had four, These are this is the peach one and the green one that I took out that I've used, but they come in this um, really cute, oh, there went the green one, okay. Um, so it comes with like a purple, two different kind of peach ones and then a green one. And those are technically for color correcting, but I just use them for concealer. As you guys will see in the demo, I did use this one today. And this is still damp, so this is as big as it pretty much gets. The color correcting little pack is $7.98 on Walmart's website. And then the EcoTools one is, or the EcoTools one, <laughs> they're both EcoTools. The Duo is $9.98 on the Walmart website. And like I said, that is where I purchased them. I'm sure you could find them at other retailers. If you're not familiar with EcoTools, it is a very like organic type of brand. So if that's something that's really important to you, definitely check these out. As far as like the actual sponges and how they perform, my favorite is this big old big old one right here. It is the one that they recommend using for like liquid foundation and liquid products. I love this because this flat side right here, as you guys will see in the demo, is so easy to pounce on foundation. And then I also like the rounded side for foundation. And this one, the smaller one, I didn't use it today, but if I do use it, I pretty much only use this for baking. Um, if I want to like bake under my eyes or anything like that, I didn't do that today, but that's pretty much the only way I use this. It's a little too dense for me to use for like liquid products and I don't really like cream contour on a daily basis or anything like that. If I do, I usually like to blend that stuff out with a stippling brush. So this is like, it's okay. I just don't really know if it's like necessary. I don't think I'll be reaching for this a bunch. Now the little itty bitty color correcting ones. These are cut um, kind of similar to the larger ones, except both sides are evenly cut down the side. So not one, one is not longer than the other, but it also comes with that little like rectangle ledge thing right here. These are good, they're nice and soft. They have a really good feel to them but they are so tiny, like so, so, so itty bitty. I mean, as you guys can see, like this is just a little baby. Let me hold up the purple one. Let me get it out here. Um, again, I don't, they're all the same. They all have similar like feels to them, wet and dry. So I don't think that you would need these for like actually color correcting. Like the green one doesn't feel differently than the purple or anything like that. So this is what it looks like dry, and then this is what it looks like wet. So as you can see, it doesn't get, whoa, goodness. See, this is, they're so tiny that like, they're so hard to hold. It doesn't get that much bigger, just a little bit bigger. So, but I mean, these are itty bitty. So, I mean, as you guys saw, they almost just dropped out of my hand because when you hold them, I mean, you have to pinch them like this to really do your concealer, because if you do that, I mean, you're gonna be getting your finger like poking in your eyeball. It's just, these are almost 
too small. And I hate to say that because I really like how spongy they are. But these things, I mean, I feel like I could just lose these in an instant. Like they're so tiny. The Real Technique ones that are pretty small, those are even a little bit bigger than this. And then I really have just fallen in love with that um, L'Oreal concealer sponge that I talked about in my January favorites because I like how big it is and how like easy it is to hold. This is just really small. And as you guys can see in this one and in the demo, I had to flip the sponge over to go in with the, like, to the other side of my face to blend out my concealer because these are so tiny. The product that gets absorbed, it's almost like it's so fast because it's so tiny that you got to flip it over to absorb even more of that concealer on the other side. So you really can only get one use, maybe two uses out of these before you have to clean them, like really like deep clean them. I just... I don't know. I think these are just a little gimmicky. If you're looking for a really great concealer sponge, I would go with the L'Oreal. Now, if you were going to buy something out of this video, I would say get these. Um, mainly just for this sponge. I think this is a great, great foundation sponge. I really like it. And I do like the way these are cut because it won't fray a whole lot at the top. Um, and this one, like I said, is good. It's just not necessarily Sari, woo, I couldn't think of the word. It's not necessary in my collection of like sponges, you know? I just feel like what I would do with this one, I could do with this one if that makes any sense. But this one is really nice. I've been reaching for it a lot. The, like they both have that like nice soft foam. It's just this one is a little bit more dense. So I really just, I love this sponge so much. It really does blend out foundation really, really beautifully. Okay guys, that is it for this video. It was another short one. I feel like I'm just kind of busting out these little short reviews lately. Um, but that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, leave a comment, share this on all your social medias, and let me know if you do share it or if you pick up any of these sponges. Tweet me, Instagram me, Snapchat me. All of my social medias are down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.